going on everybody welcome back to john boy small engine repair kind of no uh kind of taking a break on this whole craftsman mower you know it's been over a week or so since i posted a video plus my phone won't let me record you know like no more than 10 minutes i gotta get a either a camera or i gotta get a bigger memory card um so the deal with this mower is i got it running the original carburetor, it's bad. The main jet, I can't get it out. It's stripped. Um, so I can't find the, the carburetor to come out of it. My phone probably won't focus, but that main jet. Don't mind my, my shop. It's a mess. So I can't find something to point with you. Okay. The main jet. Is, is pretty bad in this car road and probably can't see it. Let's see. Anyway, it's pretty bad. I can't get it out. I've tried multiple attempts to getting it out. Um, so this right now is on hold. I'm going to have to order a carburetor for this Friday. I said, my shop's a mess. I'm just trying to get it organized. I don't tell you what I've got going on, but... Um, so we did find a deck for this. I'm going to redo the deck on it. Uh, I'm going to either put tubes in these tires or I've got a mower out back, a uh, parts mower that's got some good tires on it. They're bigger tires. I don't know the exact size, um, but I'll probably swap them out and I've got to get one good front tire, which I've got. Uh, seat's gonna have to wait. I have to find a seat, a donor mower. I don't have a seat anywhere. All of my seats are used up on previous projects that I've, uh, or mowers that I've sold. But I don't want to leave just leave you guys wondering when the next video is gonna come out. You know, um, I'm in my shop today. My shop's a pure mess. I just gotta get, I gotta get it cleaned up. I got the air running in here. Um, so yeah. We do have another project outside coming uh, this week or next week. Uh, it's going to be a uh, with a free mower. I, I don't know what's wrong with it at this point, other than I got told that it was uh, the steering was bad on it and it needed a battery. But we'll find that out together. So, but yeah, just one, just a quick update. Like I said, this thing needs a new new the carburetor. There's one on it. I'm not going to see it. Uh, it's it's not meant for this. It doesn't have this. This mower takes the uh, carburetor with this piece on it, no facing towards the gas tank. And I put one of these carburetors on it, and it just would not idle. I don't know if the idle circuit's bad in that carburetor. Um, but I can't even move. To, I can't even get it to go up to choke. So I don't know if it's just that's the wrong design. Um, it's probably this made wrong because like I said this is a 13 and a half horsepower uh, Briggs yeah just want to let you guys just, like I said, update you guys on this mower it does run it drives but I'll get a video out with that showing you guys um, I don't want to tie you guys, you guys up too long It'll get boring after a while but this will be part two of this mower. I know it's not much. You're not, see, not seeing it running or starting because the battery is actually out of it. I'm actually taking the battery out of it and putting it in another mower. Oh, so yeah. All right, I'm gonna cut. The, I'm gonna end the video here. It's kind of short video, but I don't want to keep, you know, just making the video with not wrenching on this thing. Um, but then part three, we'll go ahead and get we'll get the carburetor ordered this week. But I will show you installing it. I'm going to have to take the deck. Uh, I'm going to take it apart and repaint it. I'll show you that part. And I don't know if I want to show you me putting the tires on this thing or not. Because it's just depending on how hard these tires are to get off. If they're rust on there, it's going to be a nightmare. Those tires need new valves in them. So I may just put valves, new valves in this tire and the front tire. I think this tire needs a new valve stem in it. So... I don't know what's going to be easier, 
Uh, update on the moving. Uh, just gotta wait. I have to do some legal stuff. When my dad passed away, he didn't um, have a will or nothing like that saying who the land was gonna go to. But the state I live in, it goes to his heirs. I've got an older brother, and it's just a lot of legal paperwork I gotta go through. I may take you guys over and show you the land. There's nothing on it. I got to talk to the zoning uh, people in the in the city that we're moving to. So I'm hoping to be out of here, you know, second, third, maybe towards before school starts in August. And um, yeah, so like I said, just a lot going on at the shop. It's just, I mean, I've got you guys can see I've got a mess in here. A couple, this is a couple of my older mowers that I'm going to restore once I get moved. This is, um, this is a John Deere R72. The mower runs, I think. So I got told I hadn't messed with it. And then this is my son's mower. It's from, oh, I don't know what, what year it's from. It's a wizard. That's all I know. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> and, uh, oh, one time. Got my uh, core, my ramps in the behind me here. We're in the video here, and as soon as I get that carburetor, it'll be Friday, so probably Saturday, I'll have a new video up on this, and we'll probably do a video tomorrow on the Toro. It's a Toro uh, 425, 42 inch cut. Really good looking mower, but I'll put that in a separate video. Thank you all for watching. Please, uh, if you will, do me a favor like, comment, and subscribe. If you leave a comment in the comment section below, I will respond. I, I try my best to do so. Uh, but in part three of the video on this, we're going to go ahead and get it buttoned up. Because I don't want to drag it out. I'm going to go ahead and get the deck on it. We'll paint the deck. Um, put the carburetor on it. And then get it listed. Maybe someone will buy it. I don't know what it's worth. A couple hundred bucks, three hundred bucks. I don't know. All right, thank you all for watching. Until next time, y'all take care.